What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Trainer Series. So in this one, we are going to do a deadlift. So I'm going to show you some of my big tips and cues for this exercise for a beginner to just get started. With the deadlift, I mean, with all of the compound exercises, there's always a lot to keep in mind. But we're going to start with just some of the very, very basic cues and setups to just get you started on the deadlift. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to focus on the feet. So when you are lining up with the bar, whether you are pulling it from the rack, if you aren't able to have a 45 on each side, you can have a, a smaller plate or like a 25 um, to start or even just the bar, but I like to have it elevated. So you want to try to imitate, stand near the bar. You want to try to imitate that same height that you would normally pull with like a 45. You don't want to go completely from the ground because then you're going to be going too low. Um, so I like that like mid shin level. So if you are just using the bar, you want to either prop it up on some other plates or you want to use a squat rack or something where you can just set the pegs to have it right at that mid shin level. Um, but for setting it up, so you want to get in front of the bar. I'm actually going to move the camera So I'm going to show you where I want. So I'm going to show you where I want the actual foot placement for this. So grab the bar, just hold the bar like you would deadlift. Okay. So here, the main thing is, is I want to see that bar go along that middle of the foot. So you don't want it out too far this way and you don't want it completely against the shins. You want it nice and midline. So that's, Tip number one is making sure that it's right in the middle of the foot there. So if you're looking right over, it should be right in the middle, which is perfect. Okay, so once you see that it's in the middle, now what you're going to do is still holding the bar is you want to do what I call is like protecting the armpits. So get down and then you're going to try to squeeze your arms in towards your sides so that you're like squeezing your armpits in. Okay. So that's going to help to one, take the slack out of the bar. And then two, it's also going to get you in a nice strong position. And then from there, you want to try to push your shins into the bar. So maintaining that middle foot line, but you want to press the shins into the bar so that it's nice and tight to you. So that as you start pulling up, you're going to drag it along your leg. So that is a big thing with the deadlift that a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing, but if you can get it as close to your center as possible, you're just going to be that much stronger. So now she's going to, so she's got it in line. She's holding onto the bar. She's going to protect her armpits. So she's going to squeeze it in there. So this is kind of the setup. And then all she's going to do is she's going to start just pulling it up like a normal deadlift. And then as she goes up, you see the hinging motion where she's now pressing her hips into the bar to get that full extension. So bring it back down. Now, something that I like to drill with people is even on the downward motion, I want to see the same level of control as the upward motion. Because what a lot of people do is they'll pull it up and then they'll just slam it down. To me, I want to see just as much on that eccentric portion of the face as opposed to that concentric. So as you're contracting the back, now you also want to be able to control it down. And I just feel like it's going to be like twice as effective if you're able to control it both ways. Obviously, depending on your goal, that might vary. So you might need to just power through it and then drop it or whatever your, however your training is set up to require. But so the main things, keep the foot in line with the bar. Then you're going to grip the bar. So with the grip as well, 
It's going to be right outside of the legs because this is a conventional deadlift. We're not focusing on a sumo deadlift or any other variations. So it's right outside of the, uh, right on the outside of the legs. So it's not extremely far because the wider you have them, the more you're going to engage that upper back in the traps. And that is not what you want when you're doing just a conventional deadlift. So nice and tight into the body and then protect the armpits, which is going to release that slack out of the bar and then pull it up and press the hips in. And then you're going to just reverse the motion. So you're going to hinge at the hips, slowly bend down and control it down. Perfect. Now head position as well. You want to keep just a neutral spine. So you don't want to be looking completely up and you don't want to be tucking your chin too much. So it's again, it's just a nice neutral spine, pick a spot and just kind of look at it. That's just straight ahead of you. And that's going to just keep your spine out of like that curve. So it's going to help to maintain that neutral spine. Other than that, that is pretty much going to be it for this. So a lot of things thrown in there. Main thing is foot placement, hand placement right outside the bar. Then you want to protect the armpits, take the slack out of the bar and press those shins into the bar. So keeping the bar nice and close to your actual midline. And then you're going to just pull it up, press the hips into the bar, get that full extension and then control it back down. But that is the basics of the deadlift. So hopefully you found this useful. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and until next time, peace.